Let's head over to Athens, another massive recruiting weekend. It feels like we say that every weekend, but it's another big one. So I want to hit the highlights in this video. I got the great Steve Wiltfong here with me, and we got big names at G-Day. Look at this list. We'll start at the top with one-time Georgia commit, now current USC Trojan commitment, Justice Terry. Uh, he is going to be back in Athens this weekend. What do you make of it, Steve? Well, we've seen this before if you're a Georgia fan. USC coming into the Peach State, landed Michael Williams, landing Christian Miller. But where did those guys ultimately sign? They signed with Georgia. And I think that Georgia feels like they can do that again with guys like Justice Terry and Isaiah Gibson. And those guys, based on everything I'm hearing, there's certainly a lot of smoke that Georgia is very much in the thick of it if not right at the top for both of those guys. So getting Justice Terry back on campus for G-Day, obviously a lot of genuine interest there uh, in the Bulldogs and, and everything that why he was committed to Georgia once before, Kirby Smart, Trey Scott, the track record of that defense, proximity, all of that. Georgia very much could sign Justice Terry when it's all said and done. Yeah, crazy how those recruitments have a way of coming back around. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Now, massive tight end, Elias Williams. He's going to be on campus. He's committed to Georgia. The dog's playing a little defense here. Well, him and Ethan Barber, both tight end commits, going to be back on campus. I, I, li I think he ultimately signs with Georgia, but obviously being back at Miami last weekend, the Hurricanes considered the biggest threat to get Elias mm -hmm. back on campus at Georgia is, for an exciting recruiting weekend is, is big. You just never know where the inches add up in recruiting. Again, I think he sticks with Georgia, but Miami doing what they can to flip him. So he's making a quick return after spending some time in Coral Gables. All right, Atlanta wide receiver Travis Smith. He goes 6'4", 200 pounds, number 11 ranked wide receiver in the country. Has really seemed like a priority for Georgia this entire cycle. He's going to be at G-Day. Uh, where do you think Georgia stands in this one, and who's their biggest competition? I think they're at the top of the board. You know, he just locked in four official visits for June, including Georgia. I think Georgia's setting the pace in this recruitment right now and they've done a great job with him and his family and this is just another opportunity to continue building on that mm -hmm. all right uh, i see that we got safety eric winters on on the visit list and you just dropped a prediction for winners but it's not to georgia Right. But hey, these recruitments can change on a dime. I think Auburn's the leader for Eric Winters as he goes into his remaining visits. And he's taken a lot of spring visits to his top schools, Georgia, Auburn, Tennessee, Miami. Uh, but I think that if Georgia is pushing for Eric Winters, that push begins this weekend and we'll see if they make a move on Auburn. Hmm. All right. One additional visitor we got to hit on before I let you go is Dijon Lee. And this is a big one. He's coming in from California. He's the number five ranked cornerback in the country, number 27 overall. So we're talking borderline five star here. And it looks like on his recruiting prediction machine, you got USC and Washington. Of course, the West Coast team's out top. But does Georgia have a chance here? I think they're the one to beat that relationship with Dante Williams. His visit earlier this spring for spring practice. He really felt that the experience at Georgia was great. It was his first time meeting Kirby Smart. That was a box he had to check, uh, but he really feels like Georgia is a place that can develop him. Uh, he feels close to Dante Williams on the staff. Uh, Alabama and Texas A&M, he had great visits to them this spring as well, but Georgia is in prime position for one of the most coveted defensive backs in the country. Hmm. All right. Georgia fans, tap in with us below. How do you feel ahead of G-Day? Are you predicting any commitments? Let me know.